Hi, up for sale is my 1978 Volkswagen Plus, Champagne Edition West Valley. Let me show you some of the features on it. The paint finish is all Omni paint with turquoise is the color of the bottom half, pastel white on the front. We've got fog lamps throughout that look, by the way, really awesome at night. New glass, new window seals. Matter of fact, Go to the listing itself. You can see all the items that were new during the build itself instead of me listing it all. And also, forgive me for any weird noises in the shop. I am in an active body shop right now filming this is one of the most convenient areas to go out of the sun. Come on inside. I took seats out of a 1986 Porsche 944, had them stripped and professionally recovered with custom upholstery. It is out of vinyl for easy cleanup. It has an opposing colored stitch in it. New stereo system, JVC head unit with a JL audio amplifier that's tucked underneath. Complete gauge pack including oil pressure, voltage, cylinder head temp. Uh, the list goes on. There's so many different things that were done to this vehicle. But the nice thing about this seat setup is as the seat swivels backwards when you're at a campsite, it works out great for additional seating. Inside, you have a flip down TV monitor, dual wireless headphones. This is great so as you're on a road trip, you can just have the kids or even yourself or a spouse sit in the back and watch a movie as you're driving. The 120 volt refrigerator runs off a power inverter and the second battery along with the TV. Inside here is a cupboard, so you can put uh, items in there as you're going. It is a soft close style um, slide on there, spare tires behind here. Cubbies over here. Now this is where it gets really cool. The technology that we put in this was very specific to camping and having a lifestyle. 120 volt outlet. This is the power switch for the AC unit. This is for the remote power on for the inverter. 12 volt charging station for USBs and a 12 volt plug in. The fuse panel for all of this. This is your motor controller for the motor that blows the cold air from the back forward. Dimmer. This dimmer is for your house lights. And of course the shore selector. This is where you select between shore power and house power. Right now you can tell it's very quiet. The AC system is on. You can turn it off with the remote. It's pretty simple. It is 6,000 BTUs, so it has a lot of cooling capability. Absolutely fantastic. When you're at a campsite, get the pop top top and music going to have that. You notice all the upholstery is done with a period appropriate uh, fabric. All the cabinets and everything, I transferred as many of the things like the original plating and hardware from the original bus to keep that same look. Updating it with clean lines, but also trying to keep that same feel of what the Volkswagen has. You don't want to lose the personality of the vehicle when doing a restoration. On the outside, you've got uh, the entire finish itself is fairly low maintenance. I'm running for an engine, two liter hydraulic lifter. This is set up in that has a progressive carburetor, dual house batteries, and a stainless steel exhaust system. I'm running a Protronics electronic ignition system, Protronics distributor, absolutely fantastic. It runs very, very well. Then you get to the trailer. The trailer is absolutely awesome. So here's what I did. I took a 1978 Volkswagen bus. It was all rusted out and nasty. I cut the top half off the bus, took the frame, brought it in, welded on the gooseneck, and just went to town. Did a full steel cage around it, wrapped it with stainless steel. So you gotta keep in mind, this is a bus pulling a bus frame. So the wheel width and track and everything is absolutely spot on. So when you're going down the road, it doesn't look awkward. It actually pulls extremely well because it is a bus frame. So everything is exactly the same, so the geometry works. 
Got a roof rack mounted on, put your paddle boards, put any kind of uh, camping equipment on there. Then what you do when you get to the site, oh, by the way, nice play on words, I love it. It's the Dragon Wagon. Very cool. So all you do is you raise up the lid, Now, inside, you've got the Atta Room. Now, this is made by a company called Bus Depot. Atta Room adds, it's a nine and a half foot by 10 and a half foot tent that mounts to the side, built specifically for Volkswagen buses to, when you're camping, to have that additional space and room. The trailer also has LED lighting, so when you're at the campsite, you can change the brightness and uh, set that up, which is kind of cool. And the car comes with Bus Depot's Deluxe car cover, which is their Mac Daddy car cover. Now, the trailer is set up on its own power system. It runs off a 12 volt deep cell battery, which powers your stereo system, the charging area, so you can charge up your cell phones. It's great when you pull up to a campsite, you unload this. Man, you should see the attention that people come over and go, Holy cow, that is absolutely so cool. So, when you run in the, the trailer, it's, it's great, because you unclutter the bus. You get all your gear and all your stuff, and you put it in here. That way you're not sitting on top of boxes and bins and everything, you're keeping the bus for what it is, moving people. All right, the AC system. Hot air comes out the vents, Cooler comes in the side. A lot of people said, well, what do you do when it rains? Well, there's actually a magnet plate that goes over this. The magnet plate is removable when you get to the campsite. You can hear, it's very quiet. And then when you get to the campsite itself, you take off the magnet plate, you fire up the air conditioner. Now, if water were to get in there, what's great about it is there's a condensation collection pan that runs at the bottom of the unit and comes out bottom of the vehicle itself through a drain tube. I use Hankook REO8 tires, which is the appropriate tire for a vehicle with this type of load on it. Absolutely fantastic. Got those through bustingco.com. Great website if you need additional parts on this. When you're, these are not hooked up, so just so you're aware, because I've kept all the kitchen items, the cooking and all that for the trailer. Purposely, because that's one of the biggest reasons that people end up destroying their inside of their camper. Water damage, or goodness gracious, they light something on fire. So I removed all that, moved to the trailer, because that's really where it should be. When you're bidding on this, it is for a seven day auction. I want you to feel comfortable with emailing me or sending me any kind of questions, concerns, or comments. It's important because it is a seven day auction, it's gonna end Sunday afternoon. And I want you to feel free and feel well informed of what you're purchasing. All right, have a great day and thank you for looking at the auction.